Hello, this is Adolfo from Life of Adolfo, and this is the second ep episode of me investing, doing stocks. So, the first one, my first episode is me starting. On this one, I'm gonna talk to talk about where I'm at, where I lost money, where I gained money, and why I left Robinhood. And finally, this is not financial advice, but a journey of my of me investing. So, why did I leave Robinhood? I left Robinhood. I know a lot of people are probably thinking of GME, AMC, BB, and Nuke, but in reality, you can say that was the last straw, but the reason I left is because I lost money not setting limits. It frustrated me because each time I sold, my items were getting undersold, and I lost about, I want to say $88 because even though you lost lose $1, by you doing multiple items, and we'll say eight items, now you're losing eight dollars. If you lose two dollars, now you're losing 16. So I lost money like that, so I decided to, I wanted to leave, but then when I saw someone on Facebook having the same problem, I decided to leave. Because on Robinhood, what you have to do is, you make an order, you go to details, and you set a limit. If you don't set that limit, and you just buy, you're gonna probably lose money by them overpricing the item, or, them underpricing the item you're selling and on um, Weeble that one basically sets the uh, limit uh, the price firm of what you're willing to pay for the item unless you want to modify it afterwards on open orders and that's one that's the main reason I left now why did I go to ramen hood is because I used to have Weeble at the beginning on my first episode and the reason I went to ramen hood is because Doing the stimulus checks, my bank account basically wasn't allowing me to transfer money to Weeble. So I went to Robinhood and for some reason it allowed. And I'm not sure if it just opened a little bit or Robinhood decided to say, you know what, we know this bank account and so on. And they let me use money at that point. I do like uh, Robinhood's Litecoin and cryptocurrency trade, but it, it's too addicting. And... I feel like day trading or trading on Weibo. I already said day trading, but making trades in uh, Weibo, I make more money. And right now I'm averaging about, except yet uh, last week, I was averaging about a hundred and something per week. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm at. I'm gonna screenshot, and then I'll talk about which stocks I have that I'm losing and gaining, and which ones I lost. So right now, according to this, this is after after market right now on Friday. Uh, it's about almost four o'clock uh, p.m. Central Time. So by the time I get off work, because I'm in my lunch break, and post it, it'll probably be uh, close market, um, after market, close market, or whatever you want to call it. So right now, I'm a plus eleven. Wow, well, I've been investing eleven thousand seven hundred plus. I uh, did put a lot of money in it. On the open p and it says that I'm plus 1,500. But I don't like to look at that number. I like to look at the cumulative p and So for me, what I notice, if you're a rookie like me, cumulative uh, p and p and is basically the items that you have still on your possession, things that you sold, the interest that you gain and the dividends that you have that, you, that you've gained so it's basically giving you uh, the total of your gains and losses with the things that you still have on, on hand on that one it says I'm plus uh, 1,190 around there okay I'm screenshotting so hopefully I could post it up here so it also shows some red right there. That's where I lost my money from AMC, Nuke, and BB because I had those. And I usually don't try to leave my the ones that I'm losing or they're in red. I try to let them, you know, go all the way to the bottom. And at that point, I try to average them out and try to take them out of red. Or hopefully, they leave red and turn green. But I noticed that those I I didn't I didn't see them trying to. I didn't see them going red anytime soon. So I sold them and I took a loss. And that's where you're gonna see that red uh, area. 
Now, do I think I lost on those? Yes, I did lose, but I didn't lose fair and square. That's in my opinion because there was momentum that they were gaining money. As a matter of fact, in AMC, I was plus 200 when they suspended it. And then they suspended it again. They suspended it again, meaning that you cannot trade. So it basically passes the momentum. And then, as we all know, Robinhood, we will, and all these, not only Robinhood, they decided to stop uh, people from ordering AMC. And Robinhood decided to only allow selling, meaning that the AMC is going to drop the money. So people got panicked probably or the momentum was gone that people started selling. And now that they decided to, even afterwards, they were only allowing one share to be purchased and I believe five or ten afterwards. So the momentum was gone. So right now it's AMC and all of them are are all the way to the ground well not all the way to the ground but they're dropping and right now it's February 5th by the way so I'm gonna tell you the my 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 top um, my top shares my worst ones and I have them into three categories the three categories I have is um, long term what I consider long term is a month or more my dividend stocks and my trading stocks my trading stocks I do them every two or three days because we will already hit me on GFB because I was trading often so now you know you gotta stick with the rules so I learned the rules now I follow the rules so my long term um, so for my four investing uh, shares or stocks I have CCIV zoom Tesla and Neo as for Tesla, I only have one of them. CCIV, I have 118. Zoom, I have 531. And Neo, I only have 10 shares. You gotta remember, I only have 11,000 in. Um, that's that's including what I made. The one that is uh, losing the most money out of them is Neo. That one is uh, minus 48.72, or a seven, or a minus minus 7.90 my best one is CCIV because I've been trying to invest a lot on it. I I sold them, bought them, sold them, bought them. So right now I have 118 of them, and I bought them at 24, 24. I mean 24 dollars with 34 cents, and I'm a plus 1200 or a plus 41 percent. Now for my dividend stocks, I do have uh, Sun S U N. R, I mean HRCN, T for AT&T, and Apple. Now, for my dividends, the way I get them is, if you look at my, what do you call it, YouTube page, I have the dividend uh, sheet. I created a dividend sheet that tells you which ones give you the best money for your dollar. On those, like I said, if you look at it, it's linked to Google Finance, so if you open it right now, maybe a 20 minute delay or whatever, it automatically moves the numbers that you could calculate the, the best uh, stock share that gives you the best for your dividends. Now, if you wanna go for the best, the item that gives you the best uh, share that goes up, then you gotta do your own research on that one. As for my trading ones, the best one that I have so far because I I trade them yesterday and these are I trade them um like I said every two days I have DDD that's that one right now is at 5.61 percent up what I do with these is I create another Google sheet on that one and what I do is I look at the ones that took a decline and I look at basically a gut feeling if they're gonna go up so DDD uh, 3d system if you look at that one it's constantly going up so that one I might keep more than a 5% which I have right now uh, I'll try to keep it until I see a little decline I do have a QB I've been going in and out of that one because that one has a little up and down so it's easy for me to believe that I'm not gonna lose money now for my main losses because I know a lot of people don't like don't like to talk about losses BX our team that one I feel like 
it took a dip and if you notice there's a slope going down so I want to say that I want I'm gonna take a loss right now it's at minus 23 percent AMC is minus 57 percent but I don't have a lot of shares on AMC I only have four of them and BBIG and NBAC those those I still think that they they might go up and everything else is up and down and what I try to do is just try to sell them when they're green and they have a 5% or higher so I could get at least a little bit of money as for me what I'm putting in in each share that I trade right now I'm putting about three to four hundred and the ones that are a little bit more risky I put a hundred and something so I don't lose money a lot of money if they take a big dip Hopefully you guys understand what I'm doing and try to invest if you have uh, the the time and the money because I've been doing this for a month and like I said right here, I already, I've been averaging and taking out $100 out of it uh, per month, 100 and something. Uh, the first one was 300, then the second one it was about 200. That's after I decided to create my Google Sheets and establish a formula on what to do and like i said i do have long-term trading and dividends and hopefully you guys like my video have a good day